heart. Good night, Jimmy. Yeah, good night. Whoa, what's, what's going on? Oh, fear. The thing that drives us all, whether you want to believe it or not. And while that fear we had as a kid faded, it didn't fade away, but instead into reality. In local news, there's 25 to 50 active serial killers in America at all times. Huh. And I think to myself, oh, what a wonderful world. So let's start off with a classic, the monster under our bed or in our closet, which honestly probably roots from when we were in tribes, since I'm not sure if you guys know this, but oftentimes kids and small animals were often prey to predators in nature. So nowadays it's irrational, since oftentimes the monster wasn't under your bed, but at school or maybe somewhere else in the house. But as an adult, the real monster often could be found inside your own head, or on the world, since I'm sure we've all heard of some horrific instances of human behavior. Be Beyond evil stuff, you might have even heard of something in the past week. <laughs> I should have gone to bed hours ago. Why am I like this? I can't do anything right. You know, I should really be more careful on what I affirm about myself. And speaking of classics, here we are with one that we all know. The fear of the dark, which yet again roots to survival times, since a lot of animals can see in the dark and they often hunt in it as well, making it quite terrifying for humans of the past. The terrifying part of all this is that it had to be somewhat common of an occurrence to leave an imprint on the brain structure for centuries of humans to come. I'm just gonna take a wee of a midnight piss real quick. Oh no. <laughs> You know, there's a lot of fear that roots back to less than desirable times, so let's just get some of these out of the way. We got snakes, spiders, rats, and which if you didn't know or if you haven't picked up on it yet, it's the fact that they're poisonous, venomous, disease-ridden, and all these effects of these creatures has left to impact on our perception of them. Even though not all of them are actually all that dangerous and we probably haven't even had an experience with all of them, but we know from our evolutionary standpoint. And honestly, I would give an adult one here, but let's be honest, most adults still fear most of these things. Oh, whoa, 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 oh, no. Yeah. Got him. Okay, okay, this is the last of the evolutionary fears, I promise. But getting lost in the store, and like, I'm sure you guys can connect the fear of getting left behind from your parents since that happened back then. And unfortunately, it still happens to this day. And if you're a child and you get left behind, it almost means certain death, which if you guys didn't know, humans are one of the few creatures that are born so incapable. Some animals can even walk off of birth, which is quite impressive in my opinion. Whoa, 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 Where, where'd they go? Where'd they go? But for the adult side of things, getting lost in life is a very real fear. And the scariest part of all this is, you usually don't realize it until you're so lost that all that time and mistakes that have passed, it's hard to redeem yourself. It could be your unhealthy life choices catching up, or maybe even your financial mistakes. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You're telling me I can't retire till 75? Yup, that's what the numbers show. But the life expectancy is 76. Mm -hmm. And let's not forget about mirrors, and honestly a lot of these fears come from legends, such as Bloody Mary. And I'll be honest, to this day you won't catch me doing that, but honestly as an adult, mirrors have their own scariness, such as seeing yourself age, but this one time I did something I really shouldn't have. I did a staring contest with myself in the mirror, and I was unaware of how horrific of an idea that was until I saw my reflection stop mimicking me, and it went a little like this. Yo, why do I look like that? Boo. Yo, what the? And speaking of haunted ideas, we all were a little afraid of ghosts. And lads, do I have some childhood stories for you? So my family had an odd occurrence of collecting weird things. Old fashioned dolls, nutcrackers, you know, the usual stuff. And for whatever reason, the dolls were displayed on a shelf in the living room. And no joke, I looked at a doll, it blinks, and then its eye shatters. I'd like to believe I'm remembering a dream, but I don't think it was since I did have a very vivid dream about those dolls as a kid. And it was a doll in my doorway holding a butcher knife with everything tinted green. At least I hope that was a dream. Wait, why am I awake in the middle of the night? Yo, what the? Whoa, whoa. A double dream? What is going on? On another occurrence, I was chilling in my room with the lights on, scrolling some cat pictures on Reddit like you know someone does back in the day, and suddenly this orb of white light appears and starts flying around my room. And, you know, I wasn't the only one in my family to have some weird things happen, so that might validate this a little bit. But at the same time, I was quite an imaginative kid, and for some odd reason, I thought there was dead bodies in the walls, but yet again, that, that's probably some trauma just to unpack. <laughs> Look at that cat. What? What just happened? I should also mention that at one time there was footprints up the side of my house, so that's just one I don't fully understand, and my best theories aren't very comforting, but hey, on the adult side, the real ghosts and demons to worry about are the ones inside you since I've yet to meet a person who does not have them. Bro, what is this? What even happened here? This looks like something out of a comedy movie.
And hey, let's not forget this whole stranger danger situation we had ingrained in us as children. And honestly, seeing the mental state of the world now, it's probably pretty valid. And honestly, even as an adult, you should definitely be aware of strangers, especially random ones on dating apps, aka hookup apps. I mean, in a world, even the best people have moments of being morally questionable. So really, be aware of who you're letting into your life. Hey, how's your day going today? Um, good? Great. Hope it isn't a good day anymore, whack job. Let's take a second to talk about aliens. Usually the fear evolved around being abducted, but I'd like to tell yet again another unbelievable childhood experience. So when I was young, I went to a summer camp and we were playing flag football. And I look up into the sky and there's this glowing blue spacecraft that was smoking and crashing towards the ground. Suddenly it turned into a comet and as it was hurtling towards the ground and we wait for the impact, it vanishes. And when I say we, my friend saw it as well. The same friend who was part of the haunted eyeball story in the Halloween video. Also, we thought we were aliens and had magic powers as well, so I mean it's fair to be a skeptic, but the reason we thought that is because we used to draw weird symbols in the dirt, and then the next day we'd come back and there would be these strange plants growing through the concrete, and that's kind of odd, but I still can't explain it, but you know how the childhood imagination can be. Hey, check this out. Yo, pull up, pull up, pull up. Hey, la la. Yo, what in tarnation was that? But as an adult, the biggest worry is illegal aliens. So I'ma leave it at that. Anyways, how about lightning and thunder? You know, as a kid, I was always worried I'd get hit by lightning. And now as an adult, the worry I have is lightning. Like keeping the lights on, you know? Paying the bills because those things just keep coming every month. Uh, how you feeling, man? I, I'm pretty lucky. <laughs> Say what? I, I'm fine. <laughs> oh my, bro. You really forgot to pay the power bill once again? But let's talk about fear for a second, since I believe it to be a very evil thing of no value other than self-preservation and control. Understand that fear is what causes you to do all negatives in your life. It's why wars happen. It's why you can't trust people. It's why you don't do something with your life. Sir, I think they're going to strike us first, so I think we should strike them. You know, you're right. Let's send them the missiles. Hey, yo, sir, sir, we're being attacked. All right. You know what this means, it's time for war. And as someone who has gotten a small bit of success, I find that fear is something that you have to tackle more than once. The fear quickly starts to turn into something different every time. You know, it goes from being the fear to start, to the fear of persisting, then straight to the fear of success and onto the fear of expanding beyond yourself. Which I'm not sure fear can ever be truly erased, but it can be flipped on its head. For me, the fear of working a regular job is what drove me to pursue YouTube, even when it seemed hopeless. So whatever your goals are, find a way to flip the script on this fear you have of it. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do it. Wait, 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 why? Because I think people are gonna judge me. So you're gonna let the fear of someone else's words judge your life. Best of luck, homie. Something to understand is that humans work in one way, and that is away from pain and towards pleasure. So how do you make doing the work a pleasure? Well, of course, by making it not doing it the pain. And go ahead and join my Discord and follow me on Twitter and feel free to click this video right here.